Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Monday of the second week of Advent, December 5th, 2022. And I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we always begin our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Our first psalm is Psalm 42, entitled, Longing for the Lord's Presence in His Temple. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hills of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of the waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness, by night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of your indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always like the deer for running streams until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Our canticle this morning is taken from Sirach, entitled Prayer of Entreaty for the Holy City, Jerusalem. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. Our second psalm is Psalm 19a, entitled, Praise of the Lord, Creator of All. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. The furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent to us your word as the sun of truth and justice shining upon mankind. 
Illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Isaiah. Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways and we may walk in his paths. For now, for, for from Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed among us today is St. Christina of Margay, maiden of Christ who was born in 1097 and died in 1161. Christina was the daughter of a noble Anglo-Saxon family. At the age of nine, she made a private vow, offering herself to God in perpetual virginity. Unfortunately, her desires ran counter to her parents' plans. The chronicle of her subsequent struggle to pursue her vocation involves an extraordinary cast of characters, bishops, noblemen, merchants, abbots, and holy hermits. The effort of one young woman to claim her own spiritual identity seems to have shaken her society to its roots. The story has many shocking twists and turns, including her escape from the lecherous advances of a visiting bishop, her forced uh, betrothal to a young nobleman, her parents' encouragement of the young man to take their daughter by force, an ecclesiastical court that ordered her to marry, and finally a daring escape. Finding help from a network of monks, she eventually found refuge with a hermit huddling for four years in a cramped hole in the ground. At one point, close to despair, she heard a voice that said, Don't be afraid, for the key to your heart is in my safekeeping. No one can enter unless I allow them to. Afterwards, she never suffered further doubts. In the end, her family and her fiancé relented, and she was free to pursue her vocation. Christina was consecrated as a nun and became the abbess of a convent in Marquette. Famous for her visions and healing power, she was sought out by abbots, bishops, and even kings for counsel. She died in 1161. This is a quote from St. Christina. I am free to love Christ above all. A responsory, you light, your light will come, Jerusalem, the Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem, the Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem, the Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Our Canticle of Zechariah. The Lord proclaims, Repent, the kingdom of God is upon you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord proclaims, Repent, the kingdom of God is upon you. Alleluia. Our intercessions. To Christ our Redeemer, who will come again to free from the, to free from the power of death all those who return to him, let us humbly pray, Come, Lord Jesus. As we proclaim your coming, Lord, cleanse our hearts of every vain desire. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, may the church which you founded proclaim your greatness to all peoples. Come, Lord Jesus. Your law is a light to our eyes. Let it protect those who trust in you. Come, Lord Jesus. You allow the joys of your coming to be foretold to us by your church. May we receive you with eager devotion. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord God of hosts, you are our hope for salvation. Come, Lord Jesus. Guide your church to follow the love, mercy, and justice of Christ. Come, Lord Jesus. 
Give wisdom, diplomacy, and prudence to the leaders of nations as they negotiate for peaceful resolutions to conflict. Come, Lord Jesus. Lift the spirits of those who are depressed, burdened, or anxious. Come, Lord Jesus. For all those caught up in violence, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, that in this time of fear and conflict they may know God's presence and peace. Come, Lord Jesus. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us to persevere in faith. We pray, come Lord Jesus. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff. For Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may be either ill or have passed away. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, free us from our sins and make us whole. Hear our prayer and prepare us to celebrate the incarnation of your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.